I'd like to call this meeting of the Township Piscataway Council to order. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided as required under Chapter 231, PL 1975, specifying the time, date, location, login, or dial-in information, and to the extent known, the agenda by posting a copy of the notice on the municipal building, municipal court, and the two municipal library bulletin boards, municipal website, providing a copy to the official newspapers of the township, and by filing a copy in the office of the township clerk in accordance with certification by the clerk, which will be entered in the minutes. There will be public comment periods for both remote and in-person attendees separately. Each member of the public shall have only one opportunity to speak during each public portion. As the technology does not allow us to know if there are multiple callers on an individual phone line or logged in user account, we ask that if you wish to speak that you log in or dial in separately so that we can recognize you as a separate individual. Should you have any further comments or questions, the Township Council is always available by email and phone and you can always call the Mayor's office during normal operating hours. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call? Councilwoman Carmichael? Here. Councilman Espinosa? Councilwoman Lombardi? Here. Councilman Rouse? Here. Councilman Shaw? Here. Councilman Uren? Here. Council President Cahill? Here. Would you please join me in a salute to our flag? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, um, this brings us to number five, which will be comments from administration and council regarding adjournment of any matters on this agenda, administration or council, any concerns? Seeing none. none, we'll move on to number six. This is open to the public, but this is regarding com uh, comments regarding item number 13, which is further down on the agenda, and these are the consent agenda items. Anyone um, remote, we're gonna open up to the remote attendees first. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you've completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. I'll close the remote attendee portion and we'll open it up to the public who are here in person. Again, regarding item number 13, the consent agenda items. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. <coughs> You may take your seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Hi, uh, Pratik Patel, 29 Redbird Road. Uh, I'd just like to uh, just get details on what are the criteria for solicitor licenses? Is this solicitor lawyers or this is something else? This is for people that go either door to door or are selling, you know, at a location in the public. The other question that I had is uh, the municipal lien for various block and lot and public nuisance. Uh, what was that for? Thirteen D. Thirteen D. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's the lien of abatement of public nuisance on the various block units. Yeah, so this is where, you know, property owners aren't taking care of their properties. There may be issues with pests or rodents, et cetera. Um, the township, of course, notices them and provides proper time for them to do something about it. But if they don't, then the township has to go in and take care of it so it doesn't affect the neighbors. And then the township then puts a lien for the costs associated with, with it on the property so that hopefully they'll redeem th those costs back do that for the home inside also some of the homes that are like they have this kind of stuff if, if they're like vacated or yeah 
we, we try not to enter properties. Or we, we don't enter properties unless we have to. Because I, I mean, I've seen in past where like a home right behind me was just like absolutely horrendous. And regardless of what the assessments were carried out, I didn't see any action. Right. Thank you, Mr. Patel. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to comment regarding number 13? David Akins, and Post Valley Lane. Good evening, Council. Is this for the uh, DOT grant? Yeah. All right, this is just an application to submit for the DOT. This is oh, a section of Old New Brunswick Road right. from the bridge yeah. to the uh, the old Luke Oil gas station, that section of the roadway, that's all. We don't know how much money we're gonna get. We're just filing the application. We're applying for one. Mr. Aikens, the Press the, uh, when you speak, just hold that button down on the mic so we can hear you, yep. This is, I believe, for the parcel maps? Normandy Drive? Yeah, the maps. What was that out before? What contract? It was for $300,000. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Anyone else in the public wishing to comment about item number 13? Okay, seeing none, I'm gonna close the public portion. That'll bring us to, sorry folks, let's get here. Do, 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 do. Number seven, this will be an ordinance on second reading. It is amending chapter seven, section 25. This is vehicles over designated weight excluded from certain streets. It will be open to the public and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance to Amend and Supplement the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Piscataway, County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, Amending Chapter 7 Traffic, Section 25, Vehicles Over Designated Weight Excluded from Certain Streets, was introduced on the 25th day of June 2024, and it passed the first reading and was published on the 30th day of June 2024. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance, having had a second reading on July 23, 2024, be adopted, passed, and after passage be published, together with a notice of the date of passage or approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2024 dash one six. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. And now I'm gonna open it to the public. First, we'll do for the remote attendees. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. So I'll close the remote attendee portion. I'll open it up to the public for any comment on this item. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take your, a seat after completion of your comments or questions in the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Seeing none, I'm gonna close the public portion for this item. So I'll open it up to uh, the council um, for an offer. Offer, Councilwoman Lombardi. Is, do I have Action a second? Carmichael. Thank you, Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Erin? Yes. Council President Cahill. 
Yes, and the item passes on second reading. That'll bring us to number eight, which is also an ordinance on second reading. This is authorizing Title 39 Enforcement, 20 New England Avenue. It will be open to the public, and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Sita, would you please read the resolution? Be it resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance to Amend and Supplement the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Piscataway, County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, amending Chapter 7, Traffic, Section 40, Control for the Movement and Parking of Traffic on Public and Private Property, to assert Title 39 jurisdiction on 20 New England Avenue, was introduced on the 25th day of June 2024, and had passed the first reading and was published on the 30th day of June 2024. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance, having had a second reading on July 23, 2024, be adopted, passed, and after passage be published together with a notice of the date of passage or approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2024-17. Thank you, Ms. Cedar, and um, we will open this up to the remote attendees. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star 9. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. We'll open it up to the uh, public for comments of this item. If you wish, um, who are here in person, if you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Seeing none, I'm going to close the um, in-person public portion of this item, and I'll open it up to the council. Do I have an offer? Offer, offer Scott. Okay, we'll go with first with Carmichael, second with Shaw. Thank you very much, council. Uh, Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Aaron? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on second reading. That'll bring us to number nine, which is also an ordinance on second reading. This is authorizing the execution of financial agreement with RG Norm Normandy Urban Renewal LLC, Block 3702, Lot 1.02, which is 10 Normandy Drive. It'll be open to the public, and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance of the Township of Piscataway, County of Middlesex, New Jersey, authorizing execution of financial agreement with RG Normandy Urban Renewal, LLC, pursuant to the long-term tax exemption law, NJSA 40A colon 20-1 at SEC, was introduced on the 25th day of June 2024, and had passed the first reading and was published on the 30th day of June 2024. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance having had a second reading on July 23, 2024, be adopted, passed, and after passage be published together with a notice of the date of passage or approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2024-18. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. And so now we'll open this up to the public for the release first. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you've completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. We'll open it up to the public here in person. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public portion on this item. I'll open it up to the council. Do I have an offer for this item? Offer. Do I have a second? Second. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call vote? 
Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Uren? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on second reading. That'll bring us to number 10, which is another ordinance on second reading. This is authorizing addendum to redevelopment plan block 1701, lot 2.03. That is 4100 New Brunswick Avenue. It is open to the public, and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be it resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled authorizing addendum to redevelopment plan for Block 1701, Lot 2.03, 4100 New, New Brunswick Avenue, as shown on the tax map of the Township of Piscataway, was introduced on the 25th day of June 2024, and it passed the first reading and was published on the 30th day of June 2024. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the aforesaid ordinance, having had a second reading on July 23rd, 2024, be adopted, passed, and after passage be published together with a notice of the date of pasture approval in the official newspaper. Be it further resolved that this ordinance shall be assigned number 2024-19. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. And so now we will open it up to the public for the remote attendees. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a, re a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. We'll open it up to the attendees here in person. If you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Yeah, hi, uh, 29 Red Bed Road, uh, Prithik Patel. What is it that this addendum, and what is this redevelopment about? It's basically just uh, the site at 41. It's a current uh, site that has a building on it. They're just asking for the zoning to revert back to what the original zoning was, which was light manufacturing. Light manufacturing, right. So it's an existing building. The zoning is going to change to go back to its original intent, which was light manufacturing. It will remain as manufacturing building. Uh, light, though. Light man. Okay. Light. Thank you. You're quite welcome. If there's anyone else in the public who wishes to speak about this, you may do so at this time. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public portion. I'll open it up to the council. Um, do I have an offer? Offer, Councilwoman Lombardi. Okay. So we'll do Shaw and Lombardi. <laughs> okay. Um, Ms. Cedar, would you please take a roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Uren? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the item passes on second reading. That'll bring us to number 11. This is an ordinance on first reading. This is acquisitions of right of way and easements for New Durham Road improvements project. It is a, resolu a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be it resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled, an ordinance for the acquisition of rights of way, easements, and land and fee simple for the improvements of New Durham Road, block 8502, Lots 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, and 17, and also including portions of the New Dorm Road right-of-way, as shown on the tax map of the Township of Piscataway, be and is hereby adopted on the first reading, that it be published in the official newspaper, and that a second reading public hearing be held at 7.30 p.m. prevailing time at the Piscataway Municipal Building, 455 Hose Lane, Piscataway, New Jersey, on the 13th day of August, 2024. Be it further resolved that a copy of this ordinance shall be posted in at least two public places within the township prior to the day of the second reading and final passage, and a copy of this ordinance shall be made available at the office of the township clerk for any interested member of the public. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. Do I have an offer? Offer Councilwoman Lombardi. Do I have Thank a second? You. Second. Oh, we have a second over here, <laughs> Linwood. So, um, uh, okay, Ms. Cedar, um, could you please take the roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael. 
Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Ern? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the item passes on first reading. That'll bring us to number 12, which is also an ordinance on first reading. This is authorization of special assessments for sidewalks on Sutton's Lane, and it is a resolution adopting ordinance. Ms. Cedar, would you please read the resolution? Be it resolved by the Township Council of Piscataway Township, New Jersey, that an ordinance entitled Ordinance to Provide for the Construction of Local Improvement Sidewalks on the Sutton Lane, Sutton's Lane Frontage of Block 9101, Lot 45.01, and block 9301, lots 47.03, 51.01, 52.02, 52.03, and 107.03 on the Township of Piscataway tax map as permitted under NJSA 40-65-1, be and is hereby adopted on the first reading. That it be published in the official newspaper and that a second reading and public hearing be held at 7.30 p.m. prevailing time at the Piscataway Municipal Building 455 Hose Lane, Piscataway, New Jersey, on the 10th day of September 2024. Be it further resolved that a copy of this ordinance shall be posted in at least two public places within the township prior to the day of the second reading and final passage, and a copy of this ordinance shall be made available at the office of the township clerk for any interested member of the public. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. Um, do I have an author? Offer Carmichael. Do I have a second? Second, Rouse. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Erin? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the ordinance passes on first reading. That'll bring us to number 13, which are the consent agenda items. For efficiency, items have been consolidated into a consent agenda to be voted on together. The materials for these items have been distributed to the council in advance of the meeting. At this time, council, are there any items that you'd like to have removed from the consent agenda item and to be discussed or voted on separately? Seeing none, then I'll open it up to the floor. Do I have an offer? Offer, Councilwoman Lombardi. Do I have a second? Second, Rouse. Ms. Cedar, would you please take the roll call vote? Councilwoman Carmichael? Yes. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes. Councilman Rouse? Yes. Councilman Shaw? Yes. Councilman Erin? Yes. Council President Cahill? Yes, and the consent agenda items pass. That'll bring us to number 14. Uh, this is announcements and comments from officials. Councilwoman Carmichael? Uh, yes, I have a, a comment. I would just like to um, commend uh, actually our President Joe Biden for the unselfish, uh, bold, uh, the, um, I'm saying I am because I, I think he did a good thing for the country. And uh, I, was, I was sad about it, but after he did it in the next day and I saw Kamala Harris going around and the love and the support that she got from, this, from the, uh, the country, people around the country, I'm looking forward to her being at the top of the ticket and I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilwoman Lombardi? Yes, a couple of items. Uh, our summertime concert series is now underway and being very well attended on Thursday evenings. So this Thursday, um, over at the Kazebo, we have Carnaby Street, which is music of the British invasion. So come down and have a lovely evening. Uh, free of charge uh, on us. Um, it's uh, very well attended and a lot of fun. And uh, we have our national night out coming up on, let's see, what wait, when we have that. It's uh, Tuesday, August 6th. It's out there by the YMCA. Um, it's a fun evening to get to know your um, local um, police officers and your local community people. So um, come on out to that. And I'm pleased to announce that we are going to launch this year a township-wide garage sale in October. So please go online to look at the information and join in if you'd like to get rid of some of your um, junk laying around the house. 
So uh, the township wide garage sale will be October 5th and 6th, and the details are online. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Lombardi. <laughs> Councilman Rouse? Uh, no comments at this time. Thank you, Councilman Rouse. Councilman Shaw? On the 15th of August, we are doing Independence Day flag hosting at the YMCA, 10 o'clock in the morning. So I invite everybody to come in the morning, 10 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Earn? Yeah, uh, one other thing that's happening is we have a bike rodeo which was moved to July 30th and it will be at the Little League Field at 5 o'clock. Okay. That's uh, a Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Thank you, Councilman Earn. Um, Mr. Mayor? Um, Ms. Corbin, nothing? Councilor? No comments, thank you. Okay, and uh, I just reiterate, there's a lot going on in town and um, suggest uh, that folks participate, take advantage of all the town has to offer uh, for residents, whether they be young, middle-aged, like me, or old. <laughs> Um, older, I should say. Um, okay, so with that, um, we're going to move on to the next item. Um, this is item number 15, which is the agenda session for the August 13th, 2024 meeting. Um, right now, uh, there is an ordinance on second reading. That is the acquisitions of rights of way and easements for New Durham Road. It's in the improvements project, and it will be open to the public at that time. It'll be a resolution adopting ordinance. Any comments or questions from council regarding that item? No. Okay, um, seeing none, that's the only thing on there. So we'll move to number 16. This is gonna be open to the public for the remote attendees. So for our remote attendees, if you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app or if by phone by pressing star nine. When it is your turn to speak, you will receive or hear a request to unmute yourself. Please click the prompt or press star six on your phone to unmute yourself. At that time, please state your name and address and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. The council or administration will respond if necessary after you have completed any comments or questions. Council President, there are no remote attendees with their hand raised regarding this agenda item. Thank you, Ms. Cedar. So now I'm gonna open it up to the public who are here in person. If you wish to speak at this time, please raise your hand either on the Zoom app. Oh, great. apologize. <laughs> um, if you wish to speak at this time, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and know that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. You may take a seat after completion of your comments or questions, and the council or administration will then respond if necessary. Khaled Zayed, 831 Hose Lane, Piscataway. As you guys know what I'm talking about already, you can, I guess you can tell what I'm going to say. Uh, I'm here to talk about one topic only, and this is the only topic that I'll be talking to you about until my people, the Palestinian people, are liberated. I will continue to show up as much as I can to remind you that there's genocide going on in Gaza. I'm really happy that Genocide Joe stepped down because he doesn't deserve to be president of the United States. He has blood on his hands. He participated in these war crimes in Gaza. He gave Israel everything they wanted to commit these war crimes. They gave them 2,000 pound bombs. He gave them all these weapons just to continue to massacre the Palestinian people. Since I was here last time, a few weeks ago, hundreds more Palestinians got, were murdered, killed, children, women, everybody. Israel is not le le leaving every, anybody alone. They're bombing everything that moves in Gaza. They destroyed more buildings, more hospitals, more schools. They bombed shelters, tents. And I'm not going to stop talking about this. I will talk about it everywhere I go because it's my duty to speak on behalf of my people. And I wanted to remind you, I, again, you guys passed the ceasefire resolution, which is a good thing. But I was hoping that you guys mentioned the hostages, the Palestinian hostages. Israel kidnapped over 10,000 more Palestinians since October 7, just nine months ago. And everybody's talking about Israeli hostages, but nobody talks about those thousands of Palestinians, many of them are uh, underage children in Israeli prison. Um, this continues to go on and on and on. War criminal Netanyahu, who was indicted by the International Criminal Court, 
is coming to the United States. He's actually in the United States. He's going to be speaking tomorrow in Washington, D.C. Hundreds of thousands of people will be there to protest his against him, against Netanyahu. He should be arrested, and Biden should also be arrested, in my opinion. I wish somebody take him to court after he steps down from the White House, because he participated in these war crimes. And I wanted to ask you, please consider revising this, war, uh, this uh, ceasefire resolution and talk about the Palestinian hostages. Israel in 2014 invaded Gaza. They bombed Gaza 10 years ago, and they killed 2,200 Palestinians. No one, no one condemned that act, as far as I can tell, when it comes to townships, anything like that. So you guys in that resolution mentioned see, um, the October 7th, you condemned that. You asked for a release of Israeli hostages. Again, I would like to ask you to please revise the resolution and call for release of hostages on both sides. In my opinion, actually the Palestinians are the ones who are hostages. Israelis are prisoners. So call for that. Call for a release of hostages on both sides and condemn Israel's attacks on civilian infrastructure in Gaza. That's all I have to say about that. I hope you consider that because one day, sooner or later, you, everybody's talking about independence, 4th of July, you know, that August 15 Independence Day, whatever that, um, I missed what that independence is about. But we, one day, we, the Palestinian people, will celebrate with our liberation from Israel because we're under 75 years of, of, of military, brutal military occupation since 1948. Everything, we are controlled Thank by everything. Thank you, sir. Uh, we will, we will liberate sir. Palestine and we will You're celebrate that liberation. Thank you very much for your comments. We do appreciate you coming up and speaking um, because you're so pa passionate. The municipality supports you know, the local population, um, no matter who it is. And uh, we, you know, we uh, feel strongly and supportive, but our, our, the resolution that we came together with and agreed upon, I do believe, says all hostages. Um, it does not specifically say Israeli hostages. And so I think um, we stand by that um, resolution. If there's anyone else in the public who wish to come and speak, please come to the podium, state your name and address, and note that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. Costas Eptimios, 58 Curtis Ave. I like the newsletter. Those numbers are nice, but you don't tell us how much taxes we're going to pay this coming year. Coming over George Washington Bridge, there's a swell in the asphalt. An attempt was made to fix it, but it's worse. Making a ride on all new Brunswick, there's three potholes. One right on all great Lakeview and Stelton, right in the middle of the intersection, a big pothole. Turning on to Stelton, I like the repave, but you neglected to do the curb in some walkways. Desperately needed puddles. Going down to all new Brunswick in that block. There's still three potholes there. Coming down to the where George Washington and Stelton meet, that again. That yield sign, please turn it into a light. With that extra traffic, road rage getting worse. There's been a few traffic accidents there. You don't want to go into the gas station or on Washington, road rage. Property maintenance is not working for Piscataway residents. Moreover, their main concern is how to embezzle the public with some bogus, some in quotes, bogus. And that people may get prosecuted and fined for none. The prosecutor, our justice of the peace, and every one of you can empower that morbid behavior. It happens. Fix the pothole on 7th and Clinton, for God's sake, the mud pit, 
It's dangerous. My complaint is non-existent. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to speak at this time? Please state your name and address and note that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. Hi, Pratik Patel, 29 Redbud Road. Uh, first of all, I would like to really thank you for the work that was done on Sutton's Lane. Um, it was due, and I would like to make sure that over the course of... Um, can, you, can you hear me? Okay, so I'd just like to thank you for the work that was done on Sutton's Lane. It was much due, uh, but thank you so much. From complaint to execution in a month, uh, that's fantastic. I just say continue on that momentum uh, going forward all the way to road two, so that way the entire street along the way uh, with Rutgers, with students coming in, becomes better. Um, so this is this is the good side of it. Now let me just tell you the bad side of it. Um, Mr. Mayor, and again, I don't know whether it's lies or distortions or whatever it is, in newsletters and in websites, you hear that the taxes are coming down. I look at the budgets down 7% and all this kind of stuff. When we get our tax bill, um, it's jumping up by 1,000. And look, I don't mind paying 1,000 or 2,000 more, but if it's not aligned with the wages or the incomes that we are generating, um, somebody has to, in that newsletter, figure out how we are going to finance these things. Um, and I think that's a real problem because in order to solve this whatever welfare or in inequities or inequalities, we are actually making it worse. Um, and whatever process that is being used today to build affordable housing and all this kind of stuff, to me, in the long run, it's the benefit. Uh, actually, the cost is going to increase against the benefits. So the, I think the cost will outweigh the benefits with whatever being proposed all over the place. Um, and the general trend from what I'm just going to, um, and again, you can call it as a fact or a fiction. I'm just going to read a few things. Most buildings on Hose Lane are empty. You can call it fact, and you can just say it whether fact or fiction. Most buildings on Ethel Road, which is, a, which is, I guess, commercial or whatever, they are getting empty or becoming empty. We lost two big grocery stores in our town. Um, kids, I think they were having a hard time finding summer jobs, and I can tell as a father, uh, because we applied at five, 10 places. I'm sure some would get it, and it's not like my son is like out there. I mean, he, he has some honors degree, and obviously, ShopRite got an injury, but it took him a while. He had to sit around for two weeks. That's a valuable time for somebody graduating from a school and going into college to pay for summer education. It shouldn't be that way. Um, there is a vandalized type building on Washington Avenue, which used to be the Paycheck Building. If you look at the glass of those buildings, that's horrendous. That's just a disgrace for this town. The glasses are broken. Then you have all this wawas and everything pop opening up. The question should be for planning and zoning board, how come there are six gas stations in a 0.25 mile radius? And what, what are they doing when they're approving all these permits? Nobody's doing land survey. Nobody's doing any, any kind of due diligence. It just passed through as rubber stamp. We lost close to, s and, and again, this is my numbers. We lost close to 70 to 80% edible landscape over the last 25 years while the food price is skyrocketing. So you've got to figure out some way, somehow, to balance this. I'm not saying in this buildings and, and industries are not important, but it should be a balanced growth. Mr. Uh, Patel, Mr. Patel, I'm so sorry. Your three minutes uh, um, have expired. Um, so as I said, I'll, I'll come back, but there are a few things that I send it in an email, um, which I'm reverting with all these assessments. I, I highly encourage you to look at that and read it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Patel. Is there anyone else in the public wishing to comment at this time? Please come to the podium, state your name and address, and note that you have three minutes in which to make your comments. Rayward, 306 Grandview Avenue. Excuse my voice, <laughs> allergies. <coughs> I'm glad, thank you for all being here tonight. I appreciate it. Councilman Cahill, the thing that Khad had brought up before and you mentioned about all hostages, it was actually written in the ordinance here. It says, all hostages held by Hamas. That's all it says. It's actually, <laughs> right. But it's actually their prisoners; they're not hostages, and it's um, <coughs> there's actually over 10,000 Palestinian hostages currently being held, who are children, underage, all different things, all different ages, all different men, women, children. It's disgusting. But the reason I'm here also is because, like how it's brought up, the simple wording that we discussed originally when the resolution was passed. And we appreciate you 
passing this resolution. We really do. Don't think it's going unnoticed. It is. It is not unnoticed. But the one thing I ask is that we ask for a simple changing of wording, and the council seemed very approved, very fine with it at the meeting. And then the following meeting, it wasn't even when it was brought up for a moment, it was basically no. Like, no, we're not touching this, we're not talking about it, nothing. Now, I'm just wondering what happened in between that timeline. Did something, somebody uh, come to you guys and threaten you, God forbid, or, or uh, discuss something else that we don't know about? We're just asking because uh, nothing it just seemed kind. very weird that all of a sudden it just, everybody's mind quickly changed to no, 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 and we don't want to discuss it anymore. So that's my question to you tonight. Thank you very much. No, the, the council was not threatened, I can tell you that much. You know, I don't think that there was something that was said. I think it's um, your commenting that there are um, hostages and that um, uh, those Israelis, the former gentleman, talked and those people being prisoners. Do you understand? It's like two sides. We've gotten letters from another side telling us that by saying cease fire, that afford Hamas to stay in power. Does that sound reasonable? I mean, I could tell you Hamas is obviously not in power, as you could see. It's technically just a genocide happening. I don't know if you're familiar with the region or how it goes, but it was basically either you, this is the government you're allowed to have, or you have no government. That's it. That was your vote. <laughs> vote for these people or no government. That was their options for the people. That's why it's traditionally not our job to be that deep involved in foreign in policy. Foreign. We're a town council. We stand with you. Local. And so you have to represent everyone in this town. If you can understand a, a, a position of ours where our resolution is not going to change anything. It makes a statement. The, this township this mayor, the, the Senator uh, Smith, have been a friend to the mosque, to the members of that center. We are not the elected officials who are going to change right now what's happening. Our vote will and who we support. And that's why this country has um, um, the really the responsibility of its citizens to vote to see who they want to have run the country. But we here cannot legislate that. And I'll be honest with you, you know, um, language that is, um, that sounds um, not reasonable isn't going to get us anywhere on either side. And I'm not pointing fingers here or there anyway. What, what we have to do is we have to support our residents in town, do right by the residents in town, and this council very much does so. And the mosque very much has enjoyed a lovely relationship with not only the township leaders, but this town in general. We are never in the news. It's very important, right? We are a town of people who are highly educated and who respect one another. And if I cannot equally represent and speak on something that I probably, as a council, as a body, may, may or may not should have, or should not have, I should say, commented on, um, on international affairs. I mean, we've never commented on it. Our job is to know our local community, not to get involved in international politics. I understand, and a lot of your constituents are. And, and honestly, we, community. yeah, absolutely. And we appre again, and we appreciate we it. I don't want to. I mean, now and speak in your piece, it. that is your right. But as a body, you, you have to understand where we can 
effectuate change and where we cannot. We do stand with you. That's why we did the resolution. There are many towns that did not. Many towns that Many, did not. many towns. And we enjoy a very good relationship with every house of worship here in town where people are not throwing things. Um, I mean, there was one incident, obviously, at the mosque, but that didn't have to do with anyone here locally. Um, and there's a reason behind, behind that, is because we're not putting up signs here about um, those sorts of issues, but we do stand with you as a body, for sure. I think you know that. We appreciate you coming up. Thank you for your time. Have Thank a good you evening. very much. If there's anyone else in the public who wish to comment, may do so at this time. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public portion. Council uh, President, I, I just want to jump in. Um, Mr. Patel got up there and complained about uh, saying about the tax rate. The tax rate, we have the second lowest tax rate in Middlesex County. You don't have to take my word. You take this, the star ledger. The problem with Mr. Patel is he's still doing that, not let the assessors in. He's probably paying more than he should be at the assessment. But the law is, sir, I am speaking. You are not. And this is his attitude, how he's always rude to the township employees. But with that being said, uh, unless he's subsidizing basically everybody else because he's probably paying way more, all he has to do is pick up the phone, make an appointment. He knows that. Uh, he has several rental properties also to make the appointment to have the assessor come in for about a two-minute walkthrough to verify to make sure what's there on the list. That's all they have to do. He refuses to do that, which is his own right. But the assessor under state law, correct me if I'm wrong, counselor, has to assess it at highest and best use. That is the law of the land. And this is something that he doesn't want to do. So he continues to get up here and complain when the fact is that everybody else is complying with the law and he doesn't want to do that. That's basically it. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Do I have an offer for adjournment? Offer. Do I have Echo. a second? All those in favor say aye. aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>